person took an an old school Casio. I don't even know what the model FX nine nine one MS scientific calculator. Jeez, I've never seen this. Uh, yeah. Wow. But, I mean, look at the the age of of the the calculator. I mean, it's old. But they pretty much came up with a way to. They added in an OLED screen. They added in Wi-Fi. Um, with even some messaging functionality. Hmm. So it was pretty cool the way they did it. They actually took out the solar power module and replaced it with a very, very small OLED screen, which, you know, would probably call attention other than they actually made it where the screen is activated with a magnet. So you hide a small magnet in your pen cap or under a pencil's eraser, and it flips a switch inside the device, which turns the the OLED on. <laughs> they they made it where it it has what they considered chat functionality, but it's pretty much predefined. Um, yeah, like like I've, short. We're, we're seeing short. help, and then there's like a menu that they're scrolling through for for some yep. pretty. Or you could store you could store text in there. So if you needed um, uh, uh, any of your stuff for uh, math, I'm I'm drawing a blank on geometry, <laughs> like all the theorems and all of the so you you yes yeah, the so equations you, you preload you it need. with with some standard answers that you expect to be on the test. Try to remember it. Yep. Okay. Interesting. And then, I mean, if, if you think about it, if you're chatting with someone else and you're like, you come up with your own little code system of, mm -hmm. you know, you put numbers zero through a hundred for the questions on a test, and then even for multiple choice yeah. or true false, yeah. you do A, B, C, D, and, and T and F. And you're and you're messaging using your calculators <laughs> right there while you're taking the test in the same room.